Our latest News 8 Ad Watch looks at the race for candidates for Attorney General in Pennsylvania. We examine the claims made by Republican challenger Allegheny Attorney Heather Heidelbaugh. Eight on your side's Brian Roach takes a look at the claims her campaign made about incumbent Democrat Josh Shapiro. Since Josh Shapiro has been our Attorney General, murders have soared in Pennsylvania. News 8 has contacted the Heidelbaugh campaign three times to ask exactly what it means by using the word sword and what part of the FBI unified crime stats they're basing this statement on. We have not received a response. Josh Shapiro first took office in 2016. A News 8 analysis of available FBI crime stats through 2019 shows that the homicide rate in Pennsylvania did rise in 2017 and spike in 2018 but it dropped down to pre-2016 levels in 2019. So we rate this claim as misleading. Philadelphia is now the second deadliest city in America. The report cited in this claim from WPVI in Philadelphia does not include a source for the statement. After searching a number of statistical resources, including the FBI's unified crime statistics, News 8 has confirmed that for the year 2020, Philadelphia does have the second highest murder rate of the nation's largest cities. We rate this claim as true based on the current statistics for the year 2020. The Philadelphia Police Department website shows the city's homicide rate has increased 35 percent this year. It's important to point out that prosecuting homicide cases in Pennsylvania is the jurisdiction of each county's district attorney. And that's noted in this response from the Shapiro campaign. The attorney general does not have original jurisdiction to make arrests for murders or prosecute murders. Josh Shapiro as AG can only charge and prosecute these cases if the local district attorney refers the case to the attorney general's office due to a conflict or lack of resources. That guidance for the attorney general is outlined in the Commonwealth Attorneys Act. The prosecution of homicide cases is not specifically mentioned in the act, but again, is traditionally left to each county's district attorney. To repeat, News 8 on your side reached out three times to the Heidelbaugh campaign for comment on this ad. They did not respond to us. We remind you that if you see or hear a political ad or see a post on Facebook or social media and you want to know if it's true, take a screenshot and send it to News 8 at WGAL.com. We'll be fact-checking ads from all parties, candidates and groups right up until the election.